We're essentially prey animals, right? Like, you know, before we had Ford Focuses and fucking DVD players, we were just hanging out in trees. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing. We had no <laughs> real defense mechanism. We have no teeth and claws. We're just easy to control when we're afraid. That's the thing. There's an instinct in us that means when we're afraid, we're easy to control. We just band together and look for a leader. That's what we do. And that's why they ratchet up the fear all the time. The world is markably safe now in many ways than it's ever been, but you wouldn't know that because they want to make you afraid all the time. So they just keep winding it up. They're winding it up. And there's a certain group of people who just snap. Like, do you guys know what doomsday preppers are? A couple of people got a weird uncle. All right. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know what a doomsday prepper is, in order to be a doomsday prepper, you seem to need to be three things. One, you need to be fat. Not regular fat. <laughs> not gluten's a problem, like a glandular thing. Like, not that kind of fat. Like American fat. <laughs> the kind of fat I can describe as American fat, and you're all like, yeah. <laughs> the second thing you need to be a doomsday prepper is be paranoid enough to have a hole in your backyard full of food and guns. I don't know what the fuck happens in these guys' lives. Like, they're watching Ox Ooze somewhere around 2009. <laughs> and they kill their last functioning brain cell with code red Mountain Dew and they fucking snap. They're like, black president! <laughs> and they just dig a hole and they hide. And the third thing you need to do to be a doomsday prepper is be absolutely positive you can survive the apocalypse. You ever go on YouTube and start clicking related links by accident and now you're down a hole at four o'clock in the morning staring at a 400 pound man who looks a bit like a thumb with a crew cut. <laughs> and his username's always like, Shadow Master 5000. <laughs> And all the other videos on this channel are him cutting up watermelons with a ninja sword to Lincoln Park songs. <laughs> so now you're staring at this fucking guy with an AK-47 balanced on the sweat set of his chest, just staring into the camera like... <sighs> <sighs> I'm gonna make it <laughs> to the end of the world. You're not gonna make it to the end of your 30s, you giant tub of fuck. Look. <laughs> I don't know a lot about the end of the world, but it fucking involves running. <laughs> so you better put down the gun and start stretching your quads, because the only way a guy that fat survives the zombie apocalypse is he gets so fat the zombies decide to save him for zombie Christmas. <laughs> Special occasion. <laughs> Crazy?